Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an Acer Aspire 3 laptop. The exact model for this one is an Acer Aspire 3 A15-41 series. The subdivision model is an R7WT and in this video I'm gonna go over how, how you can open it up and how you can upgrade the RAM. We have upgraded this laptop up to 16 gig with no issue. If you want to know your maximum RAM capacity, I made another short video how you can find out your maximum RAM capacity on your laptops. I'll leave that link in the video description. It's like a 30 seconds long. And but we to conclude that we have upgraded this one to an in two times eight in gigabytes of RAM with no issue on dual channel memory. By upgrading the RAM, you're not gonna modify anything on the system, you're not gonna lose any files or anything like that. It's just plug and play and let's get it dive into it all right first thing first you want to power off the laptop make sure it is powered off completely then you want to flip it upside down and right down here all we are interested is is this cover right over here and we're going to grab our screwdriver set i'll be using i fix the screwdriver set phillips number one from this tool set and we are going to remove the only single screw which is right over here there we go. Once you remove that one, you can either put your fingernails right in this cover and lift it up. But I don't have any fingernails, so I'm going to put the screwdriver right there. I'm just going to lift it up, pop it open, bring it up. And right away, we can see this RAM right there. For now, I'm going to rip this cover off. Just for so you guys can see nicely. You don't have to. You can just fold it back. All right, this laptop has only one RAM on it to see, to remove the RAM. All you need to do is to put your fingernails on the side in here and push these triggers on the side, just like that. And the RAM will come out in 45 degree angle, just like that. And once it's out like that and you want to pull it straight dot, uh, to, on the same 45 degree angle backward. So these are the 8 gig uh, DDR4 RAMs. I'll leave the compatible RAMs in here on the video description so you can purchase yours. Let's say you get the new RAM in here. All you need to do, make sure the notch on the RAM is now focusing. The notch on the RAM matches the notch right on the DIMM. Okay, so if I put it that way around, it's not going to go through. So you just have to rotate, find the notch, and bring it down in 45 degree all the way inside the jack. Once it's in there, just push it towards the motherboard gently from the middle. You're going to hear these two triggers open and close. That's how you know the RAM is in place. To open it, move it out, pull it out. Same thing on the second dim. Click it right in there in 45 degree. You don't want to put it straight or really high on 45 degree angle. And then push it towards the motherboard. And that's how it goes. This one, the triggers are plastic. The bottom one is triggers are made out of the metal. So let's take it right there and towards the motherboard. I don't have an extra 8 gig on hand to put it in here, but once I get it, I'll install it. And that's how you can upgrade the RAM for your Acer Aspire 3 laptop. And I'm going to put this one right on top. And grab the cover. Put it right in here. Now, there's a little tip for you guys. If you put the, the let's say you just only purchased that 1 gig, 8 gig stick and you put it on top, you power on, you might have to wait 5 to 10 seconds for the motherboard to do a RAM check. If after 5 to 10 seconds you still don't get anything on the screen, all you need to do is to power off, switch the places for the RAM, put the new one on the bottom, the old one on the top, and then power on again, wait 5 to 10 seconds. Okay, again, I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out to upgrade your RAM for your Acer Aspire 3 laptop. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them. And another tip for those people that always say, oh, you should remove the battery. You don't absolutely need to remove the battery. That's why they only give you an access for the RAM in here, for the hard drive. In some models, they don't even put the cover in here. So you have to remove the whole cover to get access to the RAM. And people are like, oh, no, you should remove the battery. The battery is connected. You don't need to disconnect the battery to do these upgrades. So those, this video goes to short for those people that get paranoid about the battery. You don't need to. As long as you power off, you are safe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.